Let's focus more in on that Dolphins game that we've got tonight. Not one, but two Monday Night Football games going on tonight. Let's focus in on Titans, Dolphins, as we said. Aaron Dolan is here to help us bet it. How do you do it? What is your approach to betting this one? Because it feels a little lopsided. It does, but I do trust the Miami Dolphins in the spot. So I was going to go with their team total, but it's moved up too much to 30 and a half. So this season, they have a multitude of weapons that they can utilize, not to mention the Tennessee Titans defense isn't that great. So they should be able to feast. They'll have over three and a half touchdowns. Okay, and also the Titans have yet to win a road game this season, which doesn't bode well for the uh, no. opposing team and well either. Loves. Right, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of the Dolphins, things. they have, again, not one, but two players in the MVP conversation in Tyreek Hill and Tua Tungo Vailoa. Yep. And there's a new MVP just suddenly this afternoon. Take us through how those odds have changed. So Dak Prescott is now the favorite after the win last night against the Philadelphia Eagles. He's plus 160. I don't the recommend respective conference. So if you think the Ravens could get the number one seed or if you think the Eagles can based on their schedule coming up, those are two things to actually consider. And then as for the Dolphins, two and Tyreek, like you mentioned, 12 to one to win this award. I'm not sure either of them will end up winning it. The odds will move slightly if they are able to win tonight, but it won't be a huge shift just because the Tennessee Titans aren't that good competition. I don't remember a time where it was such a close race between so many players. I feel like yep. it's usually one or two, and we have such a plethora, and they seem to change every week. Aaron, stay right there. We'll be back with you in a minute. In the meantime, we go for Detroit is just catching strays left and right, it feels like, on this it's show tough. today. But nonetheless, we know the Pistons have not won a game since before Halloween, as I just pointed out. Ooh. That being said, is there a play that maybe you like today against, or tonight, I should say, against the Pacers? So it's going to be a player prop for me. Cade Cunningham, over 31 and a half points and assists. We're doing a little bit of a player combo here. The game for them tonight, especially defensively. Cade Cunningham, I mean, he leads his team in points and assists. Let's just combine the two. Over 31 and a half points and assists for him tonight is my favorite bet. Uh, I'm pulling back the curtain. She did ask me how long it takes <laughs> me to recover from Vegas. I'm like, I really got to think back on this one. And now I know why. Detroit, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one. Right? <laughs> okay, that's fair. Keep my job. Detroit could lose 20 <laughs> in a row. The Lions lost yesterday to, to my Bears. I mean, it could be just a rough few days in Detroit. I don't know. Aaron Dolan, thank you. It is a massive 13 game slate in the NBA tonight, so she is going to help us figure it all out. It is EKD's top three things to know for the NBA better tonight. Start with number one. Yes, let's start with a trend. So the Philadelphia 76ers are 16 and 5 to their team total over. It was 127 and a half. It's now moved up to 128 and a half. The Washington Wizards, they're terrible mm. at defending the Philadelphia 76ers. They faced each other twice this season with the Sixers averaging 139 points. So that's definitely one of the trends that stuck out, especially because because the Philadelphia 76ers will be playing at home. Yeah, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey licking their chops for this matchup, no doubt about it. What's the second thing for betters to know? So look at this game in general. This is the most lopsided. 81% of the tickets, 91% of the money is on the 76ers as an 11 and a half point favorite. Now these teams, like I mentioned, they met twice this season. Philly covered at home, but they didn't cover on the road. So just some things to keep in mind. But again, this is a big spread and betters obviously loving it tonight. Popular game there for the betters. I hear the third Third thing to know, though, Aaron is actually your favorite play in the NBA. Yes, I'm going with Cade Cunningham over 31 and a half points and assists. We're doing a player combo here. Now, the Detroit Pistons, they're terrible. They've only won two <laughs> games. They've only covered eight games this season. But Cade Cunningham has had to step up for his yep. team, and they're taking on the Pacers, the Pacers who were just in Viva Las Vegas all last week. So uh, I'm going to think that maybe this is a little bit of a clue game for them to mm. some extent. You know, maybe they went out and had fun despite the loss. doesn't matter. Either way, I do think Cade Cunningham will have over 31 and a half points and assists. He hit over this number the last Last time they played each other. I wouldn't know. I'm no longer a Vegas resident. What it's like to party there. Well done, Aaron. Best of luck <laughs> with that best bet in the NBA. Should be a fun night. Our betting analyst Aaron Dolan joins us now to help us get ready for Monday Night Football. Let's start with the Titans Dolphins. What's your best bet for this one, Aaron? So I trust the Dolphins in this spot, and instead of looking at their team total points, we're going to go team total touchdowns over three and a half. They're really good when playing at home. They're averaging 39 points per game at home this season, and they're also really good against the two of ways that they can beat them, not to mention this is team total touchdowns. It could be passing. It could be rushing. This is the way I would play that game in particular. All right, so that's the ESPN game tonight. Let's go to the ABC game now here a little bit closer to us in New Jersey with the Giants hosting the Packers. Aaron, what do you like in this matchup? Saquon Barkley over 69 and a half rushing yards. He's over this mark in five and nine games this season and I think he's going to have to be running the ball tonight because Tommy DeVito Saquon could really take off on the ground so over 69 and a half rushing yards for him tonight and Swiss cheese is a good way to describe them <laughs> too I, I, I see I see what you guys said there and Saquon actually has hit the 70 yard mark in five of his last seven games Aaron Dolan making us smarter as always on SportsCenter thank you thank